Hello! Happy Fitness Friday! Happy Fitness Friday, everybody! Today we are going to show you what we've been doing all day for the past 24 hours. Um, the heart rate recovery <laughs> game. Hours. And we're going to keep doing it for two more days. Yes. It's going to be fun. The heart rate recovery game. Yes. Yes. We are here live at the Idea World Fitness Convention 2017. I'm Dr. Ayla Donlin. And I'm Emily Sopo. And we are your MyZone Master Trainers. I hold my doctoral degree in educational leadership, and both Emily and I have backgrounds in kinesiology, Emily in exercise science, myself in sport and exercise psychology. We're also certified personal trainers and group fitness instructors. There's a lot of personal trainers and group fitness instructors running around here at IDEA. So if you are here at IDEA, come by and say hello. We're gonna be at the MyZone booth, which is yeah. what we're working out in yeah. this morning. All day today, as Emily today. said. Yep. <laughs> All day sure. tomorrow, so come on by. Yes, we would love to see you. And of course, if you're tuning in, you have heard about MyZone and are either following MyZone on Facebook or on YouTube, but you can also learn more about MyZone at MyZone.org and MyZone all over social media. Yes, so many resources available to you. And good morning, Francis. Good morning, Trish. Mm -hmm. We are going to be getting our heart rates into action this morning here in the booth. What we've done is we've set up a game here at IDEA where people participate in a 10 minute heart rate recovery game. And we set it up as high intensity interval training. We do a warm up and then we go through five different exercises at 45, 15 intervals. Work phase 45 seconds, recovery 15 seconds, and then the last two minutes, good morning Nicole. Hey, Nicole. The last two minutes are not an all out effort, but an effort in yellow doing a push press and a slam ball slam, and then we monitor recovery for one minute. So yep. we're gonna show you what that looks like today. Yes, we sure are. And the reason why we're doing this is because at the IDEA, at the MyZone booth, at IDEA 2017, we're actually offering the chance for someone to win $1,000. So yeah, Ayla's gonna get the- We know this is a little backwards we know. when we go live, but yeah. check that out. It's opportunity to win a thousand dollars so if you're at awesome. idea you need to come and play this game yeah absolutely so the objective really is to see if we can recover our heart rate in the minute after two minutes of yellow zone yes and it's a gradual build so we do the warm-up where we're in blue and green you've heard us talk about the value of a warm-up before and then we go to elevate our heart rate and monitor recovery yes. and Emily why would we measure heart rate recovery? Because heart rate recovery is a measure of cardiorespiratory fitness. Exactly. It's something we've talked about before. So in fact, if you are on the MyZone Facebook page or the MyZone Moves YouTube channel, you could go back that we've done several broadcasts where we've talked about heart rate recovery. Yes. Hey, David. <laughs> Hello, um, nice, from the UK. Yeah, oh, David, what a great story. Thank you for so sharing sweet. that. Yeah. Hi, Kimberly. <laughs> Now folks, we do want to leave the disclaimer right now that because of what we're working with here at the convention center and here on the trade show floor, this may not be a, a heart rate recovery assessment that you can replicate and sure. really know the workload that you're using because we right. are doing slam ball slams and we are doing push press, so we're not accounting for speed, how many reps you completed, the weight that the folks are doing, we're just trying to get people involved. Right. But if you were doing a heart rate recovery test, you can go back into the old videos and see some of the assessments that we've recommended to really measure heart rate recovery. Yes, and so Emily makes a great point in that if you're gonna use a heart rate recovery assessment, you wanna keep as many variables constant as possible. But because this is just like a game, this is a game that you could play in your facility and have a friendly competition among the participants of your group exercise class yes. or your small group training program. So it's a protocol that you can use to gamify exercise and movement, but like Emily said, not necessarily as a consistent assessment to do over time. Exactly. If you are assessing heart rate recovery over time and you're controlling all of the necessary variables, what you should see with improved fitness is a faster recovery rate. So heart rate should come down more quickly as we become more fit and our cardiorespiratory system becomes more efficient. Yes, yes, and you can really think about it like your heart shouldn't have to do extra work. So as you become more fit, then your heart is saying, pump the brakes, you relax, now I have to relax. Yeah, almost. Yeah, and I think we become better at regulating our breathing, our respiration. All sorts of things. Yeah, and like nervous system regulation, I oh, think yeah. it's all good stuff. Yep. 
Right on. All right, well, okay. let's hop right into it. We're going to show you everything that we've been doing, and we'll do a quick little warm up, then hop into the hit session, and then we'll do the recovery portion. Hey, Hi, Carrie. Carrie and Kim, thank you for joining us. Yes. Shall we begin? Yeah, we shall. And we're going to be exercising. We always invite you guys to leave comments and questions. Since we're going to be exercising, we won't be able to interact as much during this live feed, but we always love going back and addressing your comments and questions. So do continue to interact with us yeah. and we'll come back and we'll get you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we're going to adjust things a little bit. First, we're going to start out with our plank. Yes, and I'm going to show them where my heart rate is at right now. Oh, yes. Because I'm going to be showing them throughout. And again, we know that this is going to be a little bit backwards for you, but we know that you are fully capable of reading backwards. So at, right now I'm in a cool, calm, gray zone. And what we'll do is we'll show you my heart rate and how it's responding throughout this heart rate recovery game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, partner here plank. we go. Yeah, partner plank. Okay. Those folks are coming down onto the ground. You can either clap hands or tap shoulders. <laughs> there we go. So we were having our folks do this for about 30 seconds. like we've been having folks do. I think I will. You want to yeah. just chat with them a little while? I will. I'm almost in the green zone. So staying true to the real game that we're doing today and tomorrow and we did yesterday at Idea World 2017. We're having folks do a little lap. Actually, a few laps. <laughs> there she goes, folks. There she goes. So our goal in this portion of the workout is just to warm up. So I know that the percentage is backwards, but you can see <laughs> leaping you can see that Ayla is in the green zone which is right where we want her to be as she's getting closer and closer to one more yeah one more the conditioning period of her workout so with warm-ups blue zone green zone are awesome zones to be in and then when we actually get going here we're likely to see more green and yellow okay you yes. ready green let's take them through the workouts oh yeah you're warmed up Kettlebell. hey Marcin okay the first exercise that we're leading folks through is the kettlebell swing. And Ayla does an excellent job with form on the kettlebell swing. She's hinging at her hips, bending her knees, squeezing her glutes to power this movement up. Good. Very nice job, Ayla. She's in green. She's creeping her way up toward that yellow zone. Now we haven't been giving folks a goal zone necessarily for these first few exercises that we'll see but we will definitely talk you through on the last two exercises because we want folks to be holding on to the yellow zone good job Ayla thank you how about three more three oh. two oh there it is and one she is in yellow the next exercise I'm gonna do a renegade row. she's gonna do the renegade row we're gonna follow her good so with the renegade row, Ayla is on in a plank position. She's got dumbbells. By the way, we got all of this equipment from Perform Better. They were nice enough to share all this with us. Thank you, we, Perform, Perform Better. Yeah, we'll be excited to check out their booth later. They've got lots of good equipment. Nice. And so Ayla is choosing to add a push-up in. So she's getting her back and her chest. Woo! And really her core. And, you know, it's, it's a very good exercise. It works a lot of different muscle groups. Nice work, Ayla. Thank you. <laughs> Doing great. And my friends, Ayla is in, I know you can't see it because there's a glare, but she is in the yellow zone right now. One more? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Really nice form. Thank you. <laughs> What's next? Russian twist. 
We will twist the camera around for you. Clever on a Friday morning. I know. All right, so for the Russian twist, Ayla's gonna sit back. She's keeping a nice flat back. Now she's chosen a challenging option with her feet up off the ground. You can also do them with your feet on the ground, heels on the ground. Are there any other form cues that you're thinking of right now, Ayla, to keep yourself in good form? I think the, the higher you sit, the less challenging. Yep. The lower you come, the more challenging. Yeah. So depending on someone's core strength, you probably want to cue them accordingly. Absolutely. And we can see Ayla's recovered a little bit. She's down in the green zone now. I mean, just a little bit of a recovery here because she's still in that upper green, but we would anticipate with an exercise like this, where it's mostly focused on core, she's not moving quite as much or engaging, engaging as many muscle groups as she was in the last couple exercises, that her heart rate would come down. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. You. What's next, Ayla? Battle ropes. Battle ropes. So we've got the battle ropes here. And again, everyone was doing these for 45 seconds. So go for it, Ayla. Oh yeah. Good. Woo! Love it, you got it, Ayla. Let's watch your heart rate creep up. We're gonna look for yellow. Oh, there it is, folks. She made it to yellow. Looking great, Ayla. So she's got one more exercise after this, and then we're gonna go into not the heart rate recovery portion yet. She's got really a couple more exercises where we want her to be holding yellow, but right now for this exercise and the next one, she can get wherever she needs to be for her zone. You feeling all right? I'm feeling great. Okay, lateral cool. Lunge. Last exercise, lateral lunge. Over right here? Yeah, here I'll move for you. So we tried to design a workout that gave really total body workout, worked in multiple planes of motion, and we've talked about all those things before. So if you'd like to go back and look at a few of our previous broadcasts on the YouTube channel or the Facebook page, you sure could. Nice form Ayla, she's keeping one leg straight, one knee bends, she's doing a little hop in between, which is getting her heart rate, whoop. I know you can't see it because of the glare, but yellow. Nice work Ayla, you feeling all right? I feel good. Good. Yeah. Woo hoo. Nice work. Hey, Michelle and Marcin. Good job. I'll do one more on each yeah. side. Do it. Woo! Okay. Nice job, Ayla. So that concludes the hit portion. We were doing about 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And now for this next portion, Ayla's gonna do two exercises that are aiming to get her heart rate into the yellow zone and hold it there for all two minutes. So the first exercise is the push press. Again, using those perform better dumbbells. All right, Ayla. Yes, so she's bending her knees, doing almost like a squat, and then pressing up overhead. Nice job. And she's right where she should be, right in that yellow zone. Good job, Ayla. Thank you. We're keeping time for you over here, so. You've got a little longer, don't worry. Woo. Folks, if you are enjoying knowing more about this heart rate recovery game, please show Ayla some love. She's working hard this morning. Hey, Jane, thanks for joining us. Good job, Ayla, you've got 20 seconds to go. Okay. Yeah. She's at 86% right now. Woohoo! You're getting some hearts, Ayla. Keep going. Hey, Coach B. Woo. Three, two, and one. Good. Okay. As Ayla transitions to the last exercise, we're going to see her heart rate probably drop a little bit. There it goes. Yeah, Michelle, we are in Vegas. Yeah. All right. Last exercise is the slam ball slam. You've seen us do these before. They are excellent exercise to get our heart rate up. Here we go. Boom. Oh yeah. Looking good, Ayla. Keep it up, keep it up. So she's getting a little creative with where she's slowing, throwing or slamming the ball down. You can do it straight down and up. You can do a little rotation. You can do it laterally. There's so many options using slam balls. They're awesome. 
good job. I don't know if you guys can see the number here, but she's at 87% of her heart rate max. You got this. Good. Keep it up, Ayla, keep it up. So after Ayla's done, and she's almost done, we're gonna have her just completely stop exercising and breathe, and we're gonna measure her heart rate recovery. So Ayla, you've got about 10 seconds left. Keep it up. Three, two, and one, that's time. All right, folks, she's at 170 right now. We're gonna measure it for a minute. Ooh, uh -huh. nice work. That is a good one, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Coach B says, come on, Ayla. <laughs> Thanks, Trish. Woo. Thanks, Thanks Ross. Ross. Yeah, we love yeah. my zone too. So what's really nice is that because we have access to Ayla's phone, you have a lot. Ah. We'll see how far Ayla gets down. But because we have access to Ayla's phone, we can have a live feed of her heart rate, which is really great because hey, seriously fit. I like that name. Um, because it holds us accountable, right? It lets us know how hard we're working. Good job, Ayla. You've got about 16 seconds left in your recovery. Remember, folks, she was at 170. She was in the yellow zone, 170 for her beats per minute. I think I even touched a little red. You did for, in. yeah. Yeah. And that's time she recovered to 137. Great job. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. And I'd say in terms of how I'm feeling and, and how I recovered, I think being in a little bit warmer of a climate yeah. here in Vegas, and maybe being a little bit dehydrated because of the heat, um, that will affect my recovery. Mm -hmm. So I think I probably would have recovered a little bit faster given if I was in my normal environment. So you hear us talking about factors that affect heart yeah. rate. So that's something that I would just be aware of if I was exercising in a different environment. Um, just to keep in mind. Absolutely. One minute to the thanks, Nicole. <laughs> now I'm down in a cool, calm blue, Coach B. Proof. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> cool. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning for another happy Facebook Friday. We're so stoked that you join us every Friday. And of course, you can learn more about MyZone at MyZone.org and also all over social media. Yes. Go visit our blog at the bottom of the MyZone.org page. Check out our... <laughs> podcast <laughs> my mind check out our podcast on itunes or google play and of course if you are at the idea world fitness convention here in las vegas come by the my zone booth we'll take you through the heart rate recovery game you get entered into an opportunity to win a thousand dollars you get one ticket per beat that your heart recovers in that one minute recovery assessment so, so what did i go from 170 to 137 so math yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, she got quite a few. I did get quite a few, like 33. <laughs> yeah. I would have gotten 33 raffle tickets. What? All right. Opportunities to win a thousand bucks. Not yes. bad. Thank you guys. We will see you next week. And, and keep moving, keep moving forward. forward. Have Bye. a great weekend.